special shout out to my neighbor who came over and helped me walk these six panels back to the pergola and set them up on top of the pergola. So I got them aligned and not bolted down, but I also got them wired up. And I don't really have that great a sun to work with right now. It's kind of overcast. But holy smokes, I got all six of them going here. So here's the pergola running at 120 volts, 360 south, 230 north, 266. So the pergola is facing west, and right now it's producing more power than these two guys. Those Q cells are freaking kicking ass. Holy Moses. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> you know, let me go out back and I'll show you uh, my temp wiring. All right, so let's walk out back here. Just like you're walking out this door here, which is going to be, in the next couple weeks, this is going to be gone. Look at this noise. I just wanted to wire them up to make sure I got good voltages. These are 48 volt panels. Didn't realize that. But there are two 48 volt panels in one in parallel. That, that is so freaking genius. So it's not, so if you got shading on half of a panel, it'll still produce. That's pretty freaking cool. So there's a the wiring right up there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the combiner box right here and I've got a grounding eight footer going down right there into them deep deep down and then just wire them right up but I just got some temporary combiners or splitters in there right now and I got a bolt I'm gonna bolt these down this way so there's no gap with those spring nuts so I'll just come in here with some big washers and quarter 20s and bolt these down. These son of a bitches are heavy. It's not going anywhere. For a nice clean look. Let's go over here. I've got those C clamps on there just to keep them from sliding off. But even with wind, they're not going to go anywhere. Isn't that sexy looking? Yeah, doggy. Alright, I just wish I had better sun to work with. I got no freaking sun. And I took my batteries down to like 5% last night to see if this thing would charge them up. But you need sun to charge solar panels, right? All right. I got to go to Tractor Supply and get some bolts, hardened washers, and nuts, nylocks, and bolt this sucker down. And the end clamps, I left enough space up here for the spring nuts. And that'll, and that'll let me do it with my other hand. That will clamp clamp down right here good and tight on, on this and then on the top up there so it'll be all good and tight there's a little bit of sun right there all right victory is mine so i got some touch-ups to do there trim work look at that nice shady shade even rain because it's supposed to rain here in the next couple of days so with them, with no gaps in there, that should help with sitting underneath here and and uh, staying dry. And this will be grounded too, properly, with the combiner in there. All right, there you have it. Major update, I gotta go to the, actually what I need to do is take a shower and then go to the frickin' tractor supply, so. All right, we'll see ya.